Hi guys, today's video is a little bit different. I'm doing a video on packing, packing bags. Now I'm taking a vacation soon. I'm going to Hawaii. I'm going to Kauai. I've never been to Hawaii before, so I'm super excited about this. And there's a couple things that you need to know. Um, I'm not staying in a hotel and I'm not checking a bag. So that's why I wanted to make this video because this was a, a huge challenge for myself and I've done it. I may have overpacked just a tiny bit, but I'm within the size limits and restrictions. So I just wanted to share that with you guys. Um, I picked up some tips here and there along the way over the years packing, but I've never done a carry on only. So let's just get to it and I'll show you everything that I've packed. As you can see here, this is a duffel bag. The size restrictions with Delta are 22 inches long, 14 inches wide, and 9 inches high. I've measured them with my measuring tape, and as long as I don't put anything else in, see I have extra space, as long as I don't put anything else extra in, I am definitely within 9 inches. My bag is exactly 21 and a half inches long, and the width is just perfect as well. So this is actually my carry-on. For my personal item, I'm taking my Camelback. And it's actually pretty small. Things have kind of settled down in the bottom here. And if they give me a problem carrying this as a personal item, which I don't think they should, then what I have in here is a tote bag. This tote bag here that actually is like a purse and I can take everything that's in here, put it in my tote bag and put the camel back in the bag and squish it down and cross my fingers, I will be within the size restrictions. I'm going to wear my bulkiest clothes and you just need to keep in mind that if you do that same thing, those clothes are going to have to fit into your bags. So as you saw, I have a little bit extra room, which is fine. Everything that I'm wearing, everything I'm taking will fit into those bags and I can carry both of them no problem. I'll show you now what I'm going to wear on the plane and why I'm choosing to wear those things. I'm taking my hiking shoes and I have a pair of socks, so I'm wearing hiking shoes tomorrow on the plane. I probably won't even tie them up just to make it easier to get through TSA. I'm going to take a rain jacket. This is a very lightweight jacket I found. It has a hood and apparently while I'm in Kauai, it's going to be raining quite a bit, unless it turns out like some other vacations I've been on where the weather forecast said rain and it only rained for, you know, half an hour during the day and then it just went away. But I found this very, very lightweight New Balance jacket and this is what I am taking. So I will wear this on the plane. I get so cold on planes. I'm taking this little zip jacket. This one fits me nice and snug. It's not overly tight, but it does fit me well, and it will fit perfect underneath the jacket, and the jacket can be stuffed into one of my carry-ons. I'm taking this pashmina scarf, because if I want to sleep, I'm going to cover my head with it, and it also doubles as a blanket. These are wonderful. This is definitely going on the plane with me. This basic black v-neck t-shirt underneath that zip hoodie. These are just some, they're, they're kind of like exercise pants, I suppose. I will probably double these as sleep pants if I get cold enough. So these are like loungewear, but they are nice enough that I'm going to feel comfortable on the plane wearing these. Probably also wear this hat. The only reason I'm taking it is because I don't have a nice vacation hat. These things here are everything that are fitting into my personal item. Like I said, this is my personal item here. This is my camelback. And if they give me a hard time with this camelback, I'm taking this tote bag and I can put everything inside. I have a deck of cards here because sometimes I get bored on planes and it's fun to play. Or um, in some downtime while I'm in Hawaii, you know, this could be a fun little thing to have. I, I love traveling with cards. This is actually my contact solution and I have it outside of my court bag because I read that if you have a medical 
item, then they will allow that separately from what fits into a quart bag. So I'm going to put that to the test. Um, I like it because it has a contact case on the bottom and it also has a me. I have a case for my sunglasses. I'm only taking one pair of sunglasses and you know from past experience I should probably take two but I'm not going to. I'm only going to take one. I just want the case because I'm not always going to have them. I don't want them on my head. I like to be able to just put them into my bag, whichever bag I end up using. Now, my lovely friend who watches my videos, she'll recognize this. She gave this to me so many years ago. I've used it so much that it's broken. It doesn't even open well anymore. I have my glasses because I do wear glasses. And I need these as a backup just in case anything happens. This cute little elephant bag is my electronics bag. Now, I like to always have this, even if I'm traveling with a checked bag, I always have this one on me. And that's because I don't like having my electronics floating out there. I'm taking my underwater camera. This is a Panasonic Lumix. I am also taking my Canon ELF camera, which I just had repaired. I love this little camera. And I really wanted to take the one I'm filming with, but this one is going to be easier to pack. I just put it in this little soft case. So it's not a protective case, but it works for me. Two separate chargers because I have two different types of cameras. Um, both of these cameras right now have batteries inside of them. And then I have an extra Canon battery and one more extra Canon battery. I have two extra memory cards, a 32 gig and a 16 gig. And then plus the one that I'm filming with right now, that's a 32 gig okay. charger. And this can be used in the car or plug into an outlet. One thing that I don't have in here yet, and it's because I'm currently using it, that is an auxiliary cord because we will probably be renting a car and it'd be nice to have music play through the speakers. The contents of this bag, I have this little pouch, I have a pen, I have some dairy digestive stuff because I'm lactose intolerant, I have this little fan that my friend gave me one year and I think that I will maybe use that. It might come in handy. I have some ibuprofen and one melatonin and that is for the flight backs because I'm taking a red eye. In here is some of the jewelry that I'm, well, is all of the jewelry that I'm taking. I'm not taking any of my fancy stuff because I am worried about it getting lost, damaged, or stolen because as I said, I'm staying in I'm not staying in a hotel. So I have these earrings here. These are made out of wood. I'm taking these earrings for bracelets. I am taking these three here, plus this leather braided bracelet. I'm also taking this one it's here. It's just kind of a, it's a metal. And the only reason I'm bringing it is, well, to wear it, and then also to double as a ring for a sarong. This is the necklace I'm taking. This is a rope cord with a cute little bird on it. And this kind of fits with the colors that I'm going to be wearing. What I'm going to be carrying in this pouch is gum, a little mirror, my Costco card, my debit card, my American Express card, oil absorbing sheets. I don't want to pull all these out because they have my names on them, not the oil absorbing sheets. And then I have another packet over here on the other side that has my driver's license and my insurance card. So these are things that I'm going to be carrying in my purse. My earbuds, I will be carrying these on me as well. I have this little backup battery pack for my phone in case I am not anywhere where I can charge it. I also have a notebook in here, a little personal alarm, call me crazy, but I like to travel with that because you never know, you might end up in a bad situation. I'm taking my Kindle because I'm taking a very long flight. I'm flying from LA to Hawaii, or to Kauai, which is six hours. So I wanna be sure that I have that. This is in the side pocket of my duffel bag. This is a Whole Foods bag, and I'm using this as a beach bag because I donated my beach bag, and um, <laughs> I don't have one. So this is going to be my beach bag. And it folds up so nice and small that this is just absolutely perfect. And I'm just securing it with a hair tie that I'm not going to be using for hair. I just want to keep that 
tighten. And then I also like to travel with a bandana or a scarf of some sort. This is from Talbot's and it's silk and I like wrapping it up and putting it on my head. So this travels with me. This is my travel buddy. This is everything that's going in my main carry-on bag. These are all filled with clothing. This is swimsuit. This is my crossbody purse, miscellaneous items. This is actually everything liquid that fits into a quart size bag. I have a bag full of cliff bars and nuts and things and then other water packs. So let me show you everything that I'm bringing here. So as you can see, this is the purse that I'm taking. This is a crossbody and it has a few pockets and I think I could fit a water bottle into here. Um, I'm also taking this half liter bottle which will fit into here even when it's full. And this is just for casual running around, you know, if we go shopping or something, go to a market, look around. This is the purse that I'm taking. I think this is probably the best one. It's not what I had in mind. I really wanted something that was made out of nylon, but I don't have anything. And everything I found was a little too expensive and I don't really need it. So I just decided to go ahead and bring this one. And it has, it has plenty of zippers, one on the back, one on the front. This little center pocket has a zipper and then there's a zipper inside of here. So I think this is going to be a good one for travel. This is a quart size bag and I have I think five or six cliff bars in here. And I'm taking these because I like one for the plane to go there, one to come back, and then just snacking or hiking food. I have this. Um, this is trail mix from Trader Joe's. I don't remember which one it is and it was kind of hard to fit it in here, but I'll tell you that the main reason I'm putting it in a Ziploc bag is because once I open that bag of trail mix, I'm not going to be able to close it. So I will probably have to dump everything into it. So this is this is working as double duty here. This plastic. This here is a dry pack and this is in case I want to be out in the water or I for some reason need to put my phone or other valuables in here. Water can't get in here and this thing floats. So I like having this when I go on any sort of beach vacation. This one's pretty self-explanatory. This is my camelback bladder. In this bag I have swimsuits and this sarong. I'm going to use this as a swimsuit cover-up. It has lovely uh, lace details just or embroider details right swimsuits in here but I'm going to only take two. All three are bikinis and I have an orange one, which would be great with the sarong. And then I have this black one with a purple and black bottom. And then I have my favorite go-to, and this one is blue, white, and green nautica. It is also reversible, so it could be just blue. Not sure which way I'm leaning on those because I ended up buying these board shorts here to be a little more comfortable and I haven't even tried these on yet but I'm hoping that they will fit. So these are made by O'Neill and I bought them on Zappos.com yesterday. I absolutely love Zappos. They are my favorite company. I like to carry Ziploc bags with me, extra bags, especially with swimsuits in this bag because when they're wet you need somewhere to put them and they come in really, really handy because you don't want everything else in your bag to get soaked from your swimsuit. So you just put it in there until you get to a place where you can rinse it out and then hang it up to dry. So my swim attire is in here and as I mentioned I'm only taking two swimsuits. I'm Oh, one thing I should mention, I'm going there for four days so this may seem a bit excessive. From what I've read you do want to take two swimsuits because with the humidity while one of them is drying, you can be using the other one and it takes that long for them to dry. So you definitely want two swimsuits. This bag is my miscellaneous hodgepodge, just everything that doesn't fit anywhere else. Yes, this is toilet paper. I have a little roll of toilet paper because you just never know. I have two little packets of Kleenex, so 20 tissues. This is my bar of Dove soap with my little scrubby in a plastic bag because that's going to be the easiest way. I have way. a toothbrush which I do not like and I'm going to be just throwing this away once I'm done with my vacation. This is made by Colgate and it is not cool. It hurts my mouth. This little tin holds lots of lovely little things. I 
have a little magnet in here, one of those super earth ones, and it holds bobby pins. You can see the magnet there. It also holds this little dental floss. And then I have some allergy pills right here. These are little allergy pills and those are secured by the magnet. I have Q-tips, more than I will probably need. I have some gauze underneath there. I have, I think, three packets of gauze. And then underneath there, if I can get to it, I'm trying to do this without pulling everything out, I have some waterproof band-aids and then some regular band-aids and some cotton rounds. So everything fits in here nicely. And, and then I secure it because it doesn't close and I don't want these things to open and fall everywhere. I secure it with a hair tie that I'm not going to be using. Again, more Ziploc bags in different sizes. Here I have a hairbrush, and this one I believe is by The Body Shop, and as you can see, I have a, well maybe you can see it, I have a hair, a headband type of thing wrapped around the handle along with three different hair ties. So this is a good way I remember that if I need a hair tie, it is going to be with my brush. Medical tape, because really, you just never know. It, it works for so many different things and if you are getting blisters on your heels you can put this on it's i mean i've used it in so many different occasions an extra pack of gum this is some peter thomas roth instant uh, mineral spf 30 which i will be brushing on my face and again another wonderful thing that you like to have and that is duct tape i have pink duct tape wrapped around a sharpie marker that goes with me in my camping bag. I have a little portable mirror because I do not know what the situation is going to be. So I wanna make sure that I have that. I have a glass nail file from Sephora. In this bag, I have a few little medications and things, and then I have um, some makeup essentials. I have some sting relief because you don't know if you're gonna get stung by something and you're gonna want that. Again, more lactose intolerant stuff. I have some emergency in case I start feeling a cold, some stomach stuff. Um, this is pseudoephedrine for like nasal decongestion. An extra set of contact lenses because you don't know if you're, the ones that you're wearing are going to tear, or you're gonna lose one somewhere. I also have a set of earplugs which will come in handy probably on my flight back. This little bottle is full of ibuprofen, Tylenol, and you know, I think that's all. Well, it's half full. I have ibuprofen and Tylenol in here because I never travel without it. Now, as you can see, these other things that I pulled out are makeup brushes and, oh, one of these things just doesn't belong here. What is this? This is a spoon. <laughs> So, all right, this is for my eyeliner. This is the brush that I use for eyeliner. This is my um, concealer brush. This is the concealer powder brush and a spoon because I curl my eyelashes with a spoon. Yes, I do. Okay, now for my quart size carry-on bag. <laughs> this is getting interesting, isn't it? Look at all these things that I packed into here. All right, I'll just pull everything out. All right, now let me just go ahead and explain everything as I put it back in here. I have wet ones because it's nice to have wet ones when you are somewhere like camping that you don't know if you're gonna have a place um, to wash your hands. You definitely want sunscreen when you're going on a beach vacation. I'm taking this extra bag so that I can separate things once I'm there and I don't have to always put them back all nicely into this little bag. Body lotion, this is a must have for me. A small, Thing of insect repellent the size limit is 3.4 ounces so I had to make sure that everything would fit within that limit I have shampoo and conditioner in here these are just little bottles that I've used um, previously and I've refilled them this will be plenty for the amount of time that I'm there I have one mascara one lip liner my Bobbi Brown gel eyeliner because this is the only stuff that stays on me long enough this is my Bobbi Brown Concealer. Burt's Bees Lip Balm because I can't live without it. <laughs> a little thing of um, Crest Toothpaste. Believe it or not, this is deodorant. And this is as much as I had left. And it was just easier to take this out of the container, which I have packed somewhere else, 
and fit that into my liquids, gels, and solid things, whatever they call them. This is jojoba oil that I use to remove my mascara at the end of the day. A brush cleaner. My Bobbi Brown eye brightener. Yes, I will be using that. This is hair oil. This is not um, what it says it is. I've refilled it with a different type. A little bottle of saline solution to carry around in my purse with me. These little bottles are absolutely amazing. I love them. So I have face wash in this one, face lotion in this one, blemish stuff in this one, and eye cream in this one. And these are perfect for traveling, perfect for overnight bags, and more than what I need for this trip, but it contains them nicely. These are the same type of containers, but they're just a little bigger. One of them, this one is full of regular cocoa butter lotion that I like to carry in my purse, and this one is full of Hawaiian Tropic Shimmer um, sunscreen with SPF 20, and I just like the glitter shimmer that this one has. This one here is the Travalo Travel Size um, Perfume Atomizer. It's refillable and I put uh, Estee Lauder Beach Bronze Goddess and I made a video on that. If you guys want to go check that out, I'll give you the link. So that is everything that goes in my quart bag. Here I have it packed all over again. Inside of these bags, a pair of flip-flops. These are just going to be for regular old running around. I just bought these. They're made by Reef. I bought them on Zappos because, again, I love that company. And they are in a little fabric shoe bag. These are my, um, my Tevas, and these are going to come in very handy, I'm sure. And I put those in a plastic bag. And then I have two towels. This one is a very thin towel, as you can see. That's more for just showering and then getting dressed. I might use this one as a beach towel. I'm keeping the tag on in case I end up not using it because it's so bulky and I, yeah, I'm just not sure if I'm going to need that one. Here I have tank tops. I have a black tank top, another black tank top, a white tank top, a coral tank top, black shorts, green shorts, white t-shirt, pink t-shirt, and some leggings. This is a smaller container. And this one has a nice dress, another dress. This is full of my underwear, bras and such. Three cami tops. I told you that I had the little deodorant thing. This is totally empty. And I'm just going to put the deodorant into this when I get there. And I always need a hair clip. So that's coming with me in this bag. And then I have four pairs of socks. Like I said, I'm there four days, but you never know if your socks are gonna get wet because I doubt I'm gonna be wearing those shoes every single day, but it is always nice to have them. Well guys, I, that's about everything I'm taking. I had a note with a few other things written on it and I kind of misplaced it right now. Don't forget that you need money, you need cash. Don't forget your cell phone. And I'm taking a hair stick to keep hair out of my face besides using hair ties. So that's it. I hope that you enjoyed this packing video and I hope that maybe you got some extra tips or you can leave me tips. Um, I'm just hoping to have a good time and um, I, if I end up not using all of these things then I will have learned a lesson. Thanks for watching guys. Bye! So I'm just going to show you now what I'm taking. Um, so now I'm I'll show you now what I'm I'll show you now